Greetings everyone. It's good to see you again. Today we're going to be smoking some Elizabethan mixture. There's the tobacco. And we're going to be smoking it out of my Ben Wade pipe. I've got a Ben Wade Dublin that's been in my possession for some time now. Beautiful Ben Wade pipe, um, made in uh, made in London, so it's from that era. It's a bit of uh, Victoria, I think it is. So let's give it a try. I like Elizabethan mixture. Uh, just tell you that up front. It's a uh, nice, um, it's kind of lightweight when you begin. Mm. But there's a, it's a brown sugar nuts to it. It's a, uh, Very lightweight in the beginning. The uh, compounds on it are just a uh, Virginia and Perique. But, um, yeah, it's kind of got a light sweetness on the tongue. Um, that quickly disappears, of course. But it's that brown sugar sweetness, not so much a honey sweetness like you get with some um, Virginias, but a um, oh, brown sugar. And uh, a moderate hay and grass and just a, just a very small amount of maybe... A dried fruit, but that, or like a stone fruit, but that comes in. There is some perique in this blend, and it's not as much as it used to be, according to what I was reading. But um, it does come in near the bottom of the bowl. Um, you'll definitely notice it there. But in the beginning, it's very nice. The whole thing is very is a very nice and well balanced blend. Um, so some hay and some and some grass there, and it's a. Really nice blend. So, yeah, um, you know, I've been watching some videos online about some uh, schools of thought. And that's fascinating, schools of thought. There's all kinds of ways to think. Isn't that fascinating? All kinds of schools of philosophy, of how to, how to approach a certain subject. And um, what I find... Sorry, fascinating is that sometimes we get stuck, even as a civilization or, or, or a particular group of people, we get stuck in a, quote, school of thought. And it becomes almost like the, the great, um, the great, you know, uh, power that just thrusts uh, so many other philosophies ahead of it. And, uh, you know, we kind of get stuck in this one worldview and uh, it's just kind of fascinating because I, I myself, you know, have uh, had, <laughs> you know, been through some, some uh, training in my life of, of different ways of thinking. And, um, you know, a lot of the, my approach to life has been according to one particular school of thought. And uh, then you see something comes along and says, no, this is not, not exactly always the correct way of thinking. And, and it's interesting because it is just one way of, of approaching. And I've seen the, the, uh, the damage that that particular school of thought has had toward that particular uh, a topic, and it became almost an agenda. So uh, I think we have to be careful when we go through life that we um, always kind of try to discover new ways of thinking and new ways of looking at things because uh, that's the best way to, um, to go forward. 
you know, to have a well-rounded, um, you know, sort of a, a, a vista on uh, on things, because uh, even with something as simple as uh, religion, for example, sounds not quite that simple, but there, you know, like um, mythology, even, and this is this is the thing. There are schools of thought that I, this is what I've been in mythology, you know, and and uh, I just can't believe how many schools of thought have have affected um, how each you know group has interpreted mythology. It's just mythology, but you know, to accept it on its own terms, for example, very uh, very difficult to do for some for, for some people. Everybody's got to have their own interpretation of it, and. Um, at the end of the, of the day, the, the mythology itself suffers, and the only thing that really wins out is whatever particular school is uh, is dominant in that particular era, and that's kind of a shame for that particular mythology and anyone that would want to delve into that mythology, perhaps, and see how it affects their own life. Anyhow, um, <laughs> yeah. Last mythology. I told you earlier about mythology. My fantasy being a, uh, you know, impacting how we uh, how we live our lives. So it's just a it's a fascinating fascinating study for me, and I just keep learning new things, even about myself. And I guess you can say my worldview has been challenged, you know. That's a really deep world, though, but that's okay. Mm. Delicious. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's a good thing to have to have your worldview challenged every once in a while, but it can be cataclysmic, so got to be careful. You have to be able to roll with the punches, I guess. But yes, I I really enjoy this uh, this tobacco. I would highly recommend it. Um, in the review I read by Jim Inks, he said it was good for newbies. It's just kind of like uh, a scudo, you know. It's well balanced. Mm. It's a good way to get into Virginia, and that uh, brown sugar flavor gets deeper and deeper as you go down the bowl. It's just a lovely experience. Uh, you know, as you anybody knows, I'm an, uh, an Orlick fan, but. Uh, well, don't have that um, apricot and, and orange peel that uh, that Orlick has. It's a it's a delightful um, brown sugar kind of a uh, you know traps into the Virginia world. And it's a delicious blend, and uh, you know it's from a, a reputable company. Now it's Peterson, was Dunhill at one time. But anyway, guys, my time's running out here on the old. Uh, video. I want to thank you guys for joining me. I want y'all to know that I love you very much and I, I care about you. So um, guys, be careful out there. You guys take care. Thanks for listening.